Oh, if it's recording, we may as well start. Hey, Ben. Hey, Glenn. Hi, everybody. Glenn and Ben here from the Good Movie Monday podcast doing our weekly video reaction. Um, this week, we're going to do a reaction to a trailer that I reckon everybody has probably watched by now, except for us. Yeah. I've deliberately not watched it. It's Thanksgiving. It's a new Eli the Roth film, which is the adaptation of the fake trailer from The Grindhouse. Uh, movie, so we'll talk about that in a minute, but may as well just jump straight into it. It's only a teaser, so it's not going to be long. Because the, the first one of these was Machete, wasn't it? Machete was a Machete? grindhouse trailer uh, that they no, made I think feature. Hobo with a Shotgun was probably the first ah, one. Ah, yeah, right. Then Machete, and then this one, and there's two more to go if they are going to adapt. If they do. Isn't there Don't? Isn't Don't one Don't is the Edgar Wright one, and then the um, the SS women, yeah. the Rob Zombie one. Well, I don't know if they should let Rob's... No, they shouldn't touch a camera anymore. Let's watch it, see what we think. We're going to get mail about that comment. Yeah. Okay. Oh, a killer pilgrim. <laughs> is this going to travel outside the US, you reckon? Thanksgiving is a time for appreciation. Well, I've had a pre... It's a time... A pre-trailer to a teaser. I like this guy when he was thin. Now that he's gotten fat, I don't like him. Celebrate with the ones that we love the most. He's been on suits as a doofus. I like him when he was just a brash asshole. Is that Patrick Dempsey? Yeah. Why did they get a blood split when he just twisted the neck around? He twisted too hard. Well, that is a teaser. Yeah, right. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. um, I, re I remember the Thanksgiving fake trailer from Grindhouse, and that was uh, awesome. So, yeah. That was my favourite one. Do you remember that where there's a girl doing the trampoline and she then does the splits but lands on a massive knife? And then the... Then they serve up the guy as a roast chicken at the end, and then some guy fucks it. <laughs> Look it up. Yeah. I, look, all I really remember is the machete one. Oh, yeah. yeah but Jet Day. Um, look, uh, I mean, it's been a long time for this to get adapted. It's been, what, has it been 15 years since Grindhouse? At least 10. 2007, uh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, been, I guess, a, it's yeah, been I guess, a long like, time. Because I remember when I started working at DVD Collection... I was able to snag the the DVD double thing with all of the extra bits, and it was it was difficult to get there. Yep, yep. So it would have had to come out a couple of years. Well, they are they are releasing the Grindhouse Blu-ray, I think, via Vision coming up with the original theatrical cut, the three-hour cut tied together with the trailers, as well as the the longer standalone cuts on one released. disc. I so believe so. I believe it is presented as one feature, which I've been wanting to own for a long time so to be compressed as fuck though. <laughs> yeah this is timely this is timely this one in that sense but that trailer gave me nothing like i mean yeah. it's going to be fun and if they reenact half of the stuff that was in the original fake trailer then i'm down like that yeah definitely outrageous and it was one of those trailers too where you had the voiceover and then every like 30 seconds it would flash the title and you go thanksgiving yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't even like a menacing voice it was like thanksgiving thanksgiving <laughs> yeah Awesome. Well, there you go. We've reacted. Is there anything you want to add to that? Do you like Eli Roth? I do. Yeah. I do like Eli Roth. Yeah, I don't mind him. Um, he's one of those. He's one of those personalities where sometimes I wish he'd shut up. But when he's making movies, I'm down. Like I really like his stuff. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, but I've, I don't really listen. I've, I've actually I saw him talk live at Fantastic Fest one year, and he was very engaging. He's engaging. He's like a horror version of a Tarantino. Yeah. Right. Um. I don't know. I just he puts his face to too many things, and I think Tarantino probably had that for a while, where he was just the go-to for everything, and that's yeah, worn off. He just now. hasn't had the. He just doesn't have the the hits that Tarantino has. Like, <laughs> not every film do in you, the Roth catalog. Do you have is a, a favorite Eli Roth movie? I, look. Controversially, mm. I really like Green Inferno. Yeah, I don't mind Green Inferno. I thought it was I thought it was tense and terrifying mm -hmm. and, and and funny and funny and yeah. but like yeah, like I, it really kind of you know I agree had like a really strong effect like all of the, the the cannibal scenes and stuff they were full on yeah like it you know I, I don't I don't know why people didn't like it or at yeah. least well this is how's this when I say people I mean just the the people who I saw, saw it with. Mm. 
How's this for juxtaposing? Like, my two favourite Eli Roth films would be Hostel 2. I've never seen Hostel 2. 2 is much better than part 1. Like, much better. It's poetic. But number, my second favourite would be The House with the Clock in the Walls. Yeah, right. The Jack Black and Kate Blanchett movie. Which is like a Goosebumps movie. Yeah. I really wanted to watch it. I really tried. I, I got through the first five minutes and I was like, you know. I loved it. The letting Jack Black be too Jack Black. <laughs> and it came out the same time as Goosebumps. So it was like back to back Jack Black in a kid friendly PG way. And I couldn't tell either from the first kind of the part that I watched. I was like, are we supposed to believe <laughs> that Jack Black and Kate Blanchett are going to get it on? Or like, are they getting no, it on? No, that, 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 that was never a thing. And they addressed that. Like, she's like, it whenever he wanted it to happen, but she didn't. Yeah, I mean, okay. <laughs> of course, he's a, he's a man. Yeah. <laughs> much, much better being closer to reality, though. <laughs> like, right. gra- grounded in reality. The only Eli Roth film I really couldn't stomach was the Death Wish remake. It just felt needless and stupid to me. Uh, yeah, I, uh... Look, I don't rate it, <laughs> but I think if you've never seen the original Death Wish movies, it's. I mean, let's be honest, it was the beginning of it, the end of Bruce Willis's career. It certainly was. But, but, I mean, you had Death Sentence as well, the James Wan movie, which was infinitely better, and that was like, yeah. you know, insane, insane. But he's... Bruce Willis is not the guy that you hire for that kind of, you know, revenge type. He's much better as a smart-ass kind of, yeah. you know, disbelieving... Fish out of water, kind of like, and he's going to swoop in and save the day. Like, he's a diehard guy. He's not a Death Wish guy. Yeah, that's right. He's no Bronson. He's no Bronson. <laughs> but neither was Kevin Bacon. No. None of them... Re- like... <laughs> No, I reckon you could probably get Jason Statham would probably be about as close to a Bronson type because he has almost... Brian Cranston. He has almost no personality. Like, who is his name? Brian Cranston. I reckon he'd be a good <sighs> Bronson type. Yeah. I like him as a villain, though, more for that in that kind of thing. Yeah. Like, if he was, like, the, the head rapist. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and the twist of fate would be um, to put Jeff Goldblum in the cursey role. That would be interesting. Yeah. I mean, Grandpa, Grandpa Goldblum now, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, around the time of Jurassic Park 2. He'd be going after the bad guys going, hmm, yes. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I, can I can see it in my head. <laughs> no. So Thanksgiving looks okay. Uh, I need a bit more to really go off, but um, fun. I'm looking forward to it. It's coming out through Sony oh. locally. Mm, cool. There we go. <laughs> This holiday season, prepare to have the stuffing scared out of you. Thanksgiving. In the town of Plymouth, Massachusetts, the fourth Thursday in November is the most celebrated day of the year. The table is set. The festivities have begun. But an uninvited guest has arrived. And this year, there will be... No leftovers. Thanksgiving. You'll come home for the holidays in a body bag. Ah!